Hello adventurers and welcome to another episode of Grim Plays Warhammer Quest. So we just opened up the new area of Mnembek. We have two potential routes here. The Grutz Sickle, which is for the Ogre Iron Gut. It's a two-handed weapon. 21 to 23 damage, critical chance, can leech allies' wounds to boost strength. And then the Necromancer's Pets, which is a level 7 quest. Not sure how we get to this area down here. But, that's okay. Let's go ahead and do the Necromancer's Pets. With the Necromancer returning to Umenbeck, or Umenbeck so often, it stood to reason that his abode was located close by. It hasn't taken you long to find the place, and with it, evidence of greenskins. Your party recognizes their daubings anywhere. It seems as rumored, Silas Tombs is working with the orcs, but to what end? In any case, the necromancer and his cutere must die. Be wary of his monstrous pets. All the rumors have proven true so far. There's no reason to doubt that this one isn't either. Okay. Let's head on in. Hallway, all right. One savage orc, big boss, one or four savage orc, and one savage orc shaman. Turn there. That's just sad. Alright. Very poor round for me. There. 
Much better. <laughs> and then we go back to bad. Just add that to stash. And we'll just end our turn there. Get ready for the next room. End our turn there. It's a hallway. This room is covered in a strange ooze <coughs> that clings to the walls and ceilings of the chamber. As the party enters, the ooze trembles slightly as if sensing the change in the air pressure of the body heat of the intruders. Within seconds, the ooze has slid off the wall and solidified into one amorphous mass in the center. It lunges at Auric Grenson, attacking what it perceives as the greatest threat. The warrior breaks free of the ooze, but it has been partially ingested in the process. Even as it splatters across the room, the party can see it's starting to run together and start to reform its true mass. Better move on. <coughs> Next room. The Necromancer's Pets. So this was a very short one. As you burst into the room, a gaunt figure with possibly large, impossibly large jet black pupil ceases mid intonation he stands on the other side of the chamber upon a floor covered in writhing runes fools hisses the necromancer you dare disturb my work he raises his hand i have no time to deal with such insects my pets do your master's bidding bring me their corpses i always need fresh material several lumbering trolls stride forth even as tombs beats a hasty retreat Ready your weapons. This is going to be tough. Two stone trolls and one vicious river troll. Come on. Is he really going to miss every- yep, he's going to miss every single attack. That's just sad. D statistically, that should not happen. blood pulse <gasps> and Occam's mind razors Battle 
shout. Use battle rage. Mind Razors. And let's see. Use the Orb of Might. We'll end our turn there. Three Savage Orcs with bows. this round. Okay, and our turn there. It's okay. By Sigmar, the necromancer has escaped whilst the party was dallying with his pets. No matter, it seems they have halted Tomb's macabre experiments, for now at least, and granted the populace of Umenbek, or Umenbak a slight reprieve from the horrors of the world. On returning to the surface, the party is greeted by a delegation from the villagers who have come, who welcome them with cheer. The village elder steps forward, his hands over a weighty purse. Is the warlock dead? He asked in a hushed tone. I'm going to tell the truth. It is regrettable that Kerr has escaped, says the elder. He may return to Imenbach for vengeance, 
We must be extra vigilant. No matter, you have done us a great service. He hands over the purse, and before leaving, he turns back and says, You will always be welcome in our town, and we may need, may have need of your services yet. Alright, let's head back to Immenbach. The last time the adventurers visited Unmenbach, see it's Unmenbach and Unmenbach, I don't know, they seem to keep changing it. It was under the thrall of the necromancer known as Silas Tombs. Upon your party's return, it seems another sinister occurrence has fallen its wretched, befallen the wretched hamlet. Unmenbach is deserted. The forges of the smithy lay dormant, a de darth Worshippers congregate at the Sigmarite Temple. There's no women gossiping at the well, and the tavern remains eerily silent. Beastmen or greenskins are known to, to raid and destroy settlements throughout the lands, but the buildings of Unmenbach remain intact. Something more ominous has taken the inhabitants. The large oak door of the common hall holds the answer. A sheet of what first appears to be parchment is pinned to the door with a piece of sharpened bone the size of a dagger. Upon closer inspection, the parchment is actually dried skin. There's a message scrawled in blood on the flayed flesh. It reads, I leave this message for you, those who slew my delightful pets. I'm sure you are proud of your achievement, but you must learn there are always consequences. As recompense for delaying my plans, I claim the villagers of Unmenbach as my own. I must thank you for forcing me to use more direct approach. It's far more efficient situation having such fresh blood close at hand, rather than trudging into the miserable village every few days. You can, of course, try to save them. In fact, I entreat you. You've been quite the nuisance around these parts, and there's more than I, can, I who would see you dead. Come to me so I may create my new pets from you. Yours, Silas. At the end of the message, there's a crudely drawn map with a bloody cross denotating Tomb's new lair. It looks like it's time to save the villagers of Unmenbach once more. So we're not going to have access to a market or anything, so that kind of stinks. Nobody used anything. We still got spaces, so might as well. I'm going to actually go ahead and call this an episode. I uh, want to thank you for coming along. If you enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy creating them, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. But until next time, happy adventuring. <laughs>